All right, now the preliminary is over. You have your, um, you've downloaded your zip file. You've unzipped your zip file. You have HTML editor and you have a file transfer protocol program. So let's put them all together. First thing you want to do is pick up, pick out which zip file you want to edit. Okay, this is what we're going to go for. I already know that. But, and we've already unzipped it. So let's pull the page. Open up Composer. Find the page. Now this is where, oh, I've already got open to sync because this is my first take. There we go. All right. Now what you want to do once you get into the page, and it only took a few minutes to do this, uh, you have a subscription form, okay, that you need to edit. You need to create an ad. So, what else do you have? Anything else in here that needs to be changed to make it your personal page, not just the generic page it is right now? All right, not really. So, let's see about making a sign-up form and the good stuff there. So, as I said, you. I use GBO. Actually, I use GBO Titanium because I got the full package. I see no reason to split my business up. Got everything you need. So let's create an autoresponder form. First thing you do, go to the autoresponder. And again, if you don't use GBO, that's quite all right. You can oh, I've been out too long. Wait for my. Come on, there we go. I love automatic logins, but now that I'm thinking about it, I gotta get rid of it because it kind of messes up with some of the stuff when I'm in the back office. All right, campaigns. Come up here. You want to add a campaign. So what do I want to call? It? Well, the name of it is starting a small business. So we'll go with that. Description, um, kind of self-explanatory. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use my username because that's just kind of silly. I mean, it is personal branding after all. Email, and I also would like to be notified from the same. But actually, that's not the email I usually send things to from. from. Just because you click here to unsubscribe, click here to join, click here to start your small BS. Okay, let's see. Look by the new subscriber. Yeah, it's nice to know when someone comes up. All right, don't really need a subscription because I'm in a um, description. It's kind of self-explanatory. Click here to unsubscribe. Okay. Just make it harder for them to go away. You know, they don't want to work for it. That's fine. They need to go away. Okay, so far so good. Now we have messages. First thing you gotta do, you need to have messages for your campaign. Now in GBO, you have several campaigns. You want to make sure you have it on the right one. And you click down, and there we go. And it does the whole thing. Okay, you need an opt -in message. Now, the zip file we are editing have comes complete with the messages. So let's see if they have a confirmation message ready to go. All right, you know, actually we got to do this first, so let's do this. Okay, now I actually do not know how to do this, and I haven't taken the time to learn because this works fast enough for me. So first off.
just go through and edit it really quick. Everything that you want to edit. Now you can do it once on the first one. Now, what looks like I want to use? Hmm, I got a few of them. And actually, there's supposed to be a space in between there, isn't there? Hmm. Well, this is coming from. Let's do it up. All right, now we got that copied. Let's come down here everywhere we see and change it. Easy peasy. Now, a lot of people tell you things are simple, easy complicated. It's not really. It's just a matter of once you start doing it and doing it and doing it, it gets kind of like driving home late at night. Tired, but it's almost like the car knows the way. You just know how to do it. You know, I mean, my fingers are basically doing this on their own while I'm talking. I mean, I'm giving it a little bit of thought, of course. All right, there we go. Hmm. Seven lesson is supposed to be six. It's kind of bizarre there. No, that that. No, no. Number seven is not kind of going right. All right, but that's fine. But I'm just going to take this whole thing out because I don't want that one at all. But I do want legal notice. Okay, you gotta cover yourself. So here we go. Confirmation message. So I have to do that. Don't you me you all right. Okay, a little other responder code here. Now look if you don't need the TV of your new responder and you have it in the system and hopefully you know how to do it. I'm sure you do. Now, we'll be copy and paste this right here because this is the confirmation link. Yeah, I kind of could be on one down there twice. Kind of silly. Alright. Now we have. Uh, now, there will be more videos to explain better what I'm doing. This is just getting it done, getting it out of the way. This is the opt-in message. Fine. And you want to do something to make them click. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, I just realized I forgot to put, to make my um, link clickable. Why not? There's no link in this one, so never mind. That's the opt-in message. Now it's creating a follow-up message. Now you're going to want it immediately as soon as they click the confirmation form. Let's go get the second message. So we find the first lesson. Let me just copy. Now, this is the kind of neat thing about these type of 
PLR products. It's information, it's training. You don't have to do a whole lot of changing around to make it yours. Uh, that's basically the point. But it, after all, it is only a, a gateway. It's a way to get someone to know who you are. It's not going to do a whole lot by, by itself. It's an opening. Right, so you just have to adjust. Right, there we go. Hello, subscriber. Now you know. Okay, also, <coughs> excuse me. Oops, what the heck did I do there? That's kind of, sometimes you hit the wrong button. <laughs> sometimes I hit the wrong button, I should say. So. Make sure they know what they're getting because people get busy online and they might forget they opted into your page and whatnot. So you just got to kind of help them remember. All right. Now, do I want to? Yeah. All right. There we go. I'm a little thingy. You get used to doing blog posts and you come over to this editor and this is a little bit different. Okay. Did I still alright? Do you want to always do it? No, never fuck it. Well, you want to open a new window so they don't leave your email. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Hmm, no, I'm just relaxed, but I just realized I don't feel like typing that up twice. Not too late. All right. Then what you want to do is copy and paste. Or copy it, I should say. Come get down here and paste it into the text message side. When I have a text message. To be honest, I really don't worry about these things being clickable because most people aren't going to get a text message these days anyway, but you still have to have it. If they want to find it, if they have the initiative, they will. And if not, well, you're not losing anything anyway. Okay, now we got a default message, we got an opt in me message. Let's get a fourth. You know, I almost forgot. Except a new trick I learned I'm trying to work on. You want to have a, you want to let people give have the opportunity to give you your, your their Skype. Excuse me, I'm stumbling all of my words here. You can drink quite my throat. All right, now let's go to forms. Now you, you've got to do this for each individual form. I found that out. You, you can't just put in a global field for Skype and hope it's everywhere. It won't do it for some reason. Alrighty. Want to always make sure you have the right campaign there when you're using GPO or anything like that. Okay, name the form. Obviously, might as well name it the same thing. No, I'm not going to go through all the thinking pages and whatnot. I'm just going to do it. Okay. More. Okay, now where is the. Hmm. 
Okay, so if I do that, I've got, it's going to be custom fields. I'm sorry, that was a mistake. It's supposed to be a custom field. There we go. See, I haven't done this very many times yet, so it's not automatic. But it will be very soon. Trust me. There we go. Now let's go to forms. Okay, we're still on starting a small building business. Excuse me, let's go to edit. Oh, there we go. There's my Skype. Now, I'm not going to make them give it to me if they want to, they will. They don't have to, so now we've got edit. Okay, let's see what the form is going to look like. Do. Let's get code. Now the whole process of the whole purpose of this thing has been to get this little snippet right here for your uh, index page, your squeeze page. So let's go back to composer. Now, one thing I do is I take and I click this to the color back to black. Just get rid of some messy code. Now you come over here to the where it says source. And you find that place that's going to be down here at the bottom. Find where you just changed. Okay. Actually this one's going to be a little more challenging. It's a little more complicated. Whoops, excuse me. It's a little more complicated. Here, okay, it is highlighted, so but it's not showing you where the highlight is. But you just gotta take and find it. Sometimes it's easier than others. Okay, this is gonna be a challenge. Here we go, right there. It was hiding, but not, not good enough. I found it. So you find that and you just paste in your description form. You come over to preview. Hey, there you go. Okay. Another thing that I forgot to tell you need to do at the beginning of this is you need to create a text file like this. So you can have your domain, .com folder, three listings, it will become apparent in a little while, and one for downloads. All right. Now let's go back to Composer. Next we got that, like this. You also need to create a file. So, now I put it, I give you a folder, just because it's better. Actually, create a file. New folder, I should say. And start a small business. Now, that's kind of a long thing to call a folder. So start a small business. Nah, I think I want to call it. Start a small business. Hmm. I 
my typing skills aren't the greatest, but they work. All right, so now we've got. There you go. Let's copy that. So we better copy that. Type just in case you made a mistake. It's very easy. Now we put that back to the folder, so we put it there. ready to go. See, double check. Make sure there's no places where you got some weird colors or weird spelling or see there's a place to sign your name. Some of these have them, some don't. This doesn't. Beyond this, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm going to save the file. Save as. Now oh shoot. I just don't know how to do it again. There we go. Okay. Now, let's close it off. I'll show you something. Let's open it back up again. See the end of the page. Showing you this so you don't freak out the first time this happens to you. Oh god. Where did all those pictures go? There's my form. But I have no pictures. Easy to fix. This is what you want to do. Come into the folder where you got it. You open up your squeeze page. You open up your images folder. You hold down your right button. Whoops. Hold on. That button. Left click. Copy them all. Go back. Go back. Go this one. Right click. Create a new folder inside the folder. Name that folder images. Open folder. Paste. This all right now we're supposed to have pictures here. You see the little icons there? Where'd they go? Well, not to panic because this happens sometimes. Open the page, see what it looks like. There we go. Everything's fine. Just takes a little bit of time for the computer to get the idea. This page is ready. Ready for another one? Now, come back to Composer. Open. File. Now we gotta go back to the main one, one. Page. Now we need a confirmation page. Hmm. Okay, thank you for joining. Here we go. Let's get rid of that god awful color because nothing looks funnier than editing one of these things and leaving the glaring color there for anyone to see. Okay, somehow this one, let me do the whole thing. Nope, gotta do it separately. Make it black. Oops, if you don't do it right, the machine will let you know. Pretty cool. All right. Oops, can't spell my own name sometimes. Okay, now right here you can add your own special offers. And I'll show you just how quickly and easily you can do that. First off. Let's find that silly thing first. Well, that was easy. That was almost too easy. So let's go back to the video. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go to my banners. There we go. No, this isn't going to be the finished one, but now 
But the thing is, is this works out beautiful, beautifully. If somebody wants to start a home based business, this gives them everything they need to start. So, I just pick one. Come down here. It's not in the case. What is it? Apparently, I didn't copy it. Alright, let's try it again. Here we go. Preview. Oops, I left something behind. Can't find the darn thing, so I doubt that the shoot will screw the job or just undo and start over. Love that button. Okay, here we go. Make sure I get the whole thing this time. Not too much gun. Make sure you get exactly what you need. Too much or not enough, and it won't look right. Alright. Uh oh, do we have gotten us in there? There we go. But that right there tells me that when this page goes live online it will have that banner that I just showed you alright so let's file this one away now again we want to put it in a new folder we're creating okay now also Here. Uh, so it will right here. Oh, yeah, mine looks back here. So next one we get Kind of lost focus there for a second, sorry. Back to GBO, back to the main. Now we need to go to the sales page, the download page. Well, you know, that's what happened with it. No, I didn't think so. Squeeze page doesn't have a download page. There we go. Now you have private label rights. What exactly are private label rights? Well, we know because now that once you give someone this product, they can also give it away. Now, again, you get rid of this. Make it black. Your name here. Okay, this is kind of But actually, this is going through PayPal, so yeah, it might be. So your contact information can get rid of that ugly red. through and put in the rest of the um, 
I'll respond to messages. But this is edited. Let's file it. Save it. Oops. Did I do that right? No, I did not. I put it on all folder. You see that? Get the dot HTML. HTML. You absolutely have to have that. I'm gonna save this really quick. Things come sometimes happen funny. Okay, now it's. Oh god. Oh, I left it on file, didn't I? Should be on the bottom then. Yep. That part can find it easier. Okay, not quite ready. I forgot one small thing. Here you go. This little thing right here, you kind of edit that. So, I'll link it. But where is it going to go? I want to make sure the link is open in any window. But, so this is what we do. Go to your FileZilla. I'm already opened up. You navigate to where your downloads are. You find a visit file. So right there. Now, you can either drag and drop, well, excuse me, first, up into your download folder. Again, this is not the folder I will put it in, but um, it'll do for explanation, <coughs> excuse me, explanation purposes. You, want to, you can either right click it, excuse me, left click it, then just click upload, or you can just right click it and you can actually drag it over here. I'm not going to because I don't want it there. And it will take a long time to upload, and I have more videos to make. But that right there is how you download it. But now you want to take, you want to rename your file. Not really rename it, but that you want to copy it. Then you come over to that little text file you created, and you paste it right there. Now copy the whole thing. You come back to your composer. Paste. Now it will go. That. File. Back in my other folder. Yes, I want to place it. There we go. Now. Now what we have to do is look really real quick here what we've got. Got your small start a small business. File, we're good to go. Go back over to our FTP. Now I am this is not where I'm putting it. But I take it back. This is where I'm going to put the folder. I'm just not going to put the download here. So we go to public HTML. Documents. We come to here. Let's see something. I don't know what's wrong. Excuse me. I click on documents. Here. Messing up right now. Gotta go to the GVO. I'm terribly sorry. It's been a long day. I think I'll take a break when I'm done with this video. As I said, you get to doing this and you can do it almost in your sleep. I've been, let's see, it's 2 o'clock my time right now. I got up about 3 a.m. So, you know, but you want to right click on the folder and click upload. And it 
go all over there. Again, it will take too much processing power. I'm not going to do it during the um, recording. But I'm going to pause the recording. And when I'm done, I'll show you how it looks. Alright, now it's that the upload complete. Let's copy the um, domain name. On my notepad. There's the exit page. That's fairly easy to do. Once you've done it a few times, like I said, you can do it pretty quickly.